So here at Hayden Road, it finishes AFC Russian Diamonds 2, Moneyfields 2. I'm now with the man of the match for Diamonds, Liam Dolman, uh, Bully. Uh, it sort of feels like a loss, even though it is a draw, 2-2. Two -two. It does at the minute. I mean, second half, I think that was the only way they were going to score. That's not being disrespectful to them. I thought we just dominated the second half from the first minute of the second half to near enough the last kick of the game. But when there's only one goal in it and they've, they're as strong as they are aerially and they've always got a chance. But like you say, it does feel like a loss at the minute. Well, early in the first half, very early on, Ben Ford got a, a quick yellow card for Diamonds and then a bit of a sucker punch. Uh, only the seventh minute, Brett Pote uh, scores for Moneyfields on a uh, free kick. You know, already you're down 1-0, but uh, you sort of solidified matters and at least got into halftime, still trailing only 1-0. Yeah, it, it wasn't good enough first half, but we kept, like you say, we kept ourselves in the game. We changed formation because we felt it would get us on the ball better and passing it better against them, which we needed to do because lumping balls up to Shanky and Ryan up there, although they were doing well, wasn't wasn't the way to play against these. And I thought second half we showed how to pass it, getting in spaces, creating more opportunities, and um, yeah, we we got the we got the goal and then we kicked on again. And it's a it's a great ball from Luke for the for the second goal and, and Ben's what a leap to be fair to him. But at the minute we we're, we're down a bit, but. Like you say, they're top of the league for a reason. And if we go away next week and take three points, you look at it again, four points from two games is not bad form. Well, there was no hesitation on your part, of course, to uh, take the penalty kick there early in the second half. You were spot on in the 53rd minute. Yeah, I was, I was getting a bit of a stick from their players and that, but, I mean, as long as I score, it, it, what... Whatever they say doesn't get in my head, to be fair. I've been around the game long enough. So, um, yeah, stuck it away, and then we kicked on from there. And like you said, uh, one of the new boys for Diamonds, Ben Diamond, uh, appropriately named for this club, <laughs> uh, with a uh, after a, a lovely uh, cross from the free kick from Luke Fairlam, uh, Ben squarely put the ball in the net in the 82nd minute. Yeah, it's, it's a great header, to be fair. Against all their aerial presence, he's, he's got up a, above and And to be fair, it's a great little glance. And... Uh, we knew the game wasn't dead from there, but um, we perhaps had the chance to make it 3-1, but we didn't. But we've, it's, a, it's a good ball in from them for the, at the end. They're hard to defend. So, But we'll take the positives out of the game and we go again Tuesday and then we'll go again Saturday. Uh, officiating always a part of the match but uh, of any game but gee uh, would the word shambolic be appropriate here <laughs> or towards the end I don't know some interesting calls there by the refereeing and uh, that gave them the, uh, the free kick and uh, darn it they get the, uh, the, uh, the tying I almost said the winning goal the tying goal uh, the equalizer in the 93rd minute yeah, I'm not going to say too much about the refs they're here to do their job aren't they they're, they're only human at the end of the day they're they make mistakes just like anyone, and uh, we can't use that as an excuse because that, that, that's just passing the butt. But we'll let the ref do his job. We won't get into him. We should, perhaps should, we could have defended it maybe a little bit better, but like I said before, it's a great ball in. Uh, one more question, Liam. Uh, the, this was Diamond's first game in almost two weeks. Did the long layoff maybe hurt the team, especially in the first half? Um, I wouldn't say that because we've trained. We've, we've trained hard as well, So, but... We perhaps sort of started a bit slow, but I don't think that's to do with not having a game. I think it was they put pressure on us with long balls and whatnot, but we showed second half what a good team we are. And if we can do that against most teams in, in this league, we won't come unstuck too many times. All right, well, again, congrats on the uh, man of the match, and uh, we'll see you Tuesday evening. Thanks, Bruce and Liam. I'm now here with uh, manager Andy Peaks uh, after today's 2 2 draw against Moneyfields. Andy, a lot to talk about. Um, let's go back before the kickoff. Um, your selection? Yeah, selection uh, made a few changes, brought some new people in. Obviously, Nab's gone to Alfton. Let's say we wish him well. He's been fantastic for this club. As I said to him, and I've said it publicly, the doors never shut for him. He's got a chance to go to a better level and give it a go, and we hope he does really well. Uh, meant I could bring Ryan in and Ben in, so brought Ryan straight into the start in, in lineup um, to play alongside Shanks. Um, kept the 4 4 2 first half, which, to be honest, didn't really work. Yeah, first half they were probably slightly better team and they got that early goal from a free kick which not many people saw other than the referee. No, it was never a free kick, it was right near me. Um, ridiculous decision, but they've scored, we should perhaps stop it to be honest. I think Ben will perhaps think he should have done better, I don't know, we'll have a look at it again. So yeah, then we have a free kick which hits the bar, questions whether that went over the line from what people have said, but we didn't get it. Um, and from then until half time I thought we were poor. I didn't think we took enough risks with the ball, I didn't think we wanted the football. Um, 
and we didn't have enough possession and they look quite strong playing the way they play. Yeah, they play uh, in a, a strange style. They obviously when the ball's uh, free kick, kicking the ball away and um, there seemed to be a lot of injury time in that first half. Yeah, well, there was four minutes in the first half, which I thought there was at least that because there was forever time wasting. Um, and then second half, he seemed to find minutes, which I couldn't quite see where he did get. But again, that's the referee. I'm not just going to speak about the referee. Um, I want to speak about us because I thought second half, we made the changes we did. We changed the formation. I thought we were excellent. I thought we passed the ball really well. Played football in the right way. Created enough chances. Got the second goal with Ben, who came off the bench to score a great header. And that should have been enough to win the game. We then had a couple of good chances, which would have put it to bed. Um, unfortunately, it was a kick in the tail, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, you're thinking for the changes at half-time? I just felt we needed more possession in midfield, so I wanted to put an extra body in. I thought Fordy was walking a tight rope. Not that he'd done loads wrong, but they were going to get him sent off. So it was a no-brainer. I thought they've got two up front, so I thought we'll go three at the back, put another body in midfield, try and get more possession with Claudio. He wants the ball to feet. It makes things happen. And Fernando the same. I thought they were both class when they come on. I thought they ran the game. Um, and I thought it all worked perfectly to plan. Yeah, and Ryan uh, got the first of the penalty. Um, your views on that? I wasn't sure. I thought the most likely penalty was the third one when he got booked for diving. I thought the first one was a dive, which he perhaps could have booked him for. So we got one out of three. Um, I think we've had him before and he only gives one penalty a game. So we knew that was never going to get a second one. Um, so at least we've tucked it away and it, you know, it got us back in the game where I thought we played well second half. Um, then we had a couple of chances late on which uh, 2-1, which I think we should have taken. And that would have cleared, killed the game. And then for me, again talking about him, he finds a lot of added <coughs> minutes and they scored we didn't defend the free kick well enough which again I don't think it was a free kick questionable we'll have a look at it maybe I'm wrong if I am I am um, and they've scored let's go back to uh, the substitution with uh, Ben Diamond he's come from Corby um, I think he was playing out wide there but you see him as a striker here he's a wide, he can play wide uh, not a problem he, he can play wide in a 4-4-2 or whatever but he likes playing down the middle as well um, we're looking, you know, I was looking for another striker, obviously, with Nabs going, um, even with Ryan, so we wanted another one. The fact he can play wide is great as well because there'll be opportunities all over for him, and you see what he brings. He's quick, he's very good in the air, you know, he's a young, hungry lad, and I think it's a great signing for the club. And uh, the fans really got behind the team in that second half. It was a great atmosphere, wasn't it? I thought the fans were great all game today. Even first half, when we weren't at the best, I thought they got behind the boys, and second half, they were great. And I think we deserve to win it based on the second half for the fans and everything else, and, and for the bravery the boys showed by wanting the football. And, you know, first half, we didn't even seem to want it from throw-ins and stuff like that. That concerns me. Second half, I said, go and let's have a go. If we're going to get beat by top of the league, let's have a go and pass the ball and go down fighting. And as it turned out, we, we should have won the game. Let's put that behind us, as we always do. We move on to the next game. I know you've got uh, a cup tie in Hillier's Cup. I presume a chance to give the squad a runner in. Yeah, there'll be a few changes, but I want to stay as strong as we can. You know, we, I think we're playing well at the moment, um, so I'm not going to make loads of changes. I want to win the game and set us up for next Saturday. Plus, it's a cup I want to do well in and get to six fields. I know it's next week. That won't be easy either. That's not any easy games of football until you've won them, John. You keep telling me that, don't you? I know, I've been here a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so, final question. Um, young keeper on the bench, let's talk about Adam North. He's come from uh, Northampton. Yeah, no, I, wanted, I spoke to John Brady. He was keen to help us. I wanted a, a young keeper to, to learn a little bit and be back up for Ben, you know, for the warm ups, just the whole thing in the package. It looks better for us to have a goalkeeper on the bench. I happen to know him a little bit anyway because he was at Bugbrook a couple of years ago, which is where my kids were. So, I know a little bit about him. And the good thing is, he looks the part, and I'd be no qualms about bringing him on. So, it's, it's a win win, and, you know, hopefully he'll, he'll do well for the club. Okay, I'll let you go. 2-2, uh, two -two, we're still unbeaten in the last few games. Yeah, no, we're on a good little run and we've proved today, you know, they're top of the league for a reason, whatever you think. Um, and we've shown we're as equally as good as them. I've seen nothing today that's frightened me. I've still got massive belief in this team that we'll be exactly where we want to be. Yeah, we were just talking before about uh, last year's league when we were playing uh, Shaw Lane and uh, Witten. in the comparison, is it? Maybe not, they're slightly different, but you know, so we, we competed with them, didn't we, last year? So I've got to see no reason why we can't be right up there again this year. You know, they're going to win some games, but so are we. Okay, mate, thank you. There you go. Cheers. I don't need love.